guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made this gorgeous yoke peplum blouse if you have not subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime i post a video you don't want to miss videos on this channel so, so to cut this um, peplum bustier dress with yoke peplum top with yoke this is the measurement i will be using i'm using a length of 23 the half length is 15 inches the bust is 36, under bust 32, shoulder 14, shoulder to nipple is 10, shoulder to under bust is 13, nipple to nipple is 8. So I have my lining here, Mankara fabric. Mankara fabric is not up to 2 yards. I've been mixing it with taffeta and 2 for the um, neck. Also, I'll be adding crinoline to the peplum to make it stand. So to cut this dress, I'm going to cut my lining first and then I'll use my lining to cut out the fabric so i'm going to cut the peplum first so her uh, her waist for to cut the peplum you need to consider the underboss that's what i use so the underboss is 32 i'm going to divide 32 by 6.28 so if you divide 32 by 6.28 it's going to give you 5.09 which is approximately 5.1 so i'm just going to take in six inches to cut out that's six inches because i might add a little bit of gathers i like to do that because i can pleat it or gather it a bit just in case it doesn't fit or the person adds weight, you can easily expand it. But if you go with exactly that measurement, it will be very difficult. So to cut your um, peplum, I'm going to cut my lining first. So now that I'm working with 6 and the um, half length is 15, we're going to remove 15 away from 23. We remove 15 away from 23. Remove the half length away from the full length. It will give us 8 inches plus our 6 inches that we are using. That will be 14 inches. 8 plus 6, that is 14 inches. Plus 1 inch seam allowance. Or you can add 1 and a half. That 1 inch is to use half to join the peplum to the half length. And then the other half length is to turn the lining and the Ankara fabric at the bottom. So if you add it, everything is going to be 15 inches. So to fold your fabric, you must make sure that it's wide enough for 15 inches. So you are just going to measure your fabric that you are folding to make sure it's 15 inches long so as i fold it into one place like this now you're going to fold it again like so you're going to fold it like this and make sure it's 15 inches so what i'll normally do i'm just going to measure from here now just measure from this end now to my 15 inches and i'm going to pinch it and just fold it over so now after folding my fabric into four places you can see i folded it like so and then folded it like so i'm just going to make sure the desire 15 inches round from this point and then now you just cut it out or you can still measure the six inches now you're just moving the six inches so when you want to use it to cut your Ankara fabric, you see that this side now is two, unlike this side that like is closed, but this two side is open. You make sure that it's matching the same two side that is open. And so now we're done cutting the peplum, so we'll cut the bodice now. So to cut out the the bustier side, you're just going to consider the widest part of the upper body, which is the bust, and the bust is 36. If you divide 36, so you have nine inches. So from that nine inches, I'm just going to add extra six inches. That's what I do. So 9 plus 6 is going to give me 15 inches. So I'm going to put my fabric on fold 15 inches. So after that, we're going to check the half length, which is 15. Normally, I work with the shoulder to the underbust. The shoulder to the underbust here is 13 inches. And what I do, I'll add 3 inches to drop down. So if I add 3 inches to 13, that will give me 16. So I'm going to measure 16 inches. This is how I sew my own and it always comes out perfect. So on this line, so this the front body is half length 16 inches. I'm going to insert the shoulder measurement, which is 14. Half of 14 is 7. I'm just going to mark 7 here. I think I have to, I have to do it like so, so that you guys can see it well. So I'm going to measure 7 inches here. And then that seven inches, the armhole measurement I'm using is nine inches. I'm gonna come down by nine. Okay. 
and the shoulder width um the neck width i'm working with is four inches and the neck depth is three and a half I'm just going to fold it and then i'm going to come down by half inch here so now from this um our starting line i'm going to measure the shoulder from nipple which is nine inch i'm going to come down by one inch ten inch and then to the underbust is 13 i'm going to come down by one inch which is 14. so on this on this shoulder to nipple i'm going to insert the nipple to nipple measurement which is eight inches half of eight is four inches i'm just going to make it four and a half inch on this line i'm still going to come down four and a half inch still going to mark four and a half down to the half length so on the underbust on this part the center of the underbust i'm going to remove one inch and take it down to the half length so now I'm just going to connect it to the nipple point. So now for the armhole now, I'm just going to come down by four and a half inch. Or you can come down by four inches and then connect it to this nipple point. Now I'm going to remove two inches here. If you don't want it to cut too much, you can move one and a half. And I'm going to connect it to the nipple point. On this underbust, this underbust right here, depending on how copy, I don't know, how you want it to copy, if you want to go inside very well, I'm just going to remove one and a half inch or one inch. I'll take one and a half. Now from the nipple point, I'll come down by two inches. And I'm going to connect it. Now on this ammo, I'm going to come out by that two inches which I took. And then curve it to the ammo. So the underboss is 32 divided by 4, which is 8 inches. Now we already have 3 inches here. Oh, I didn't have to join it. We already have 3 inches here. Now, so if we have to be there, we need five inches here. If we remove the half inch and measure, we need five inches here. So now, after that five inches, I'm just going to take extra three inches allowance. Do whatever you like. You can choose to take two or I'll just take two inches allowance. So we're still going to take the same three inches for the underboss. So we've done that for the waist, three inches for the underboss. And then we're still going to measure our five inches here, which is eight inches. Let's we'll move our half inch for the same allowance and measure our five inch and add our two inches. I'm just going to curve it to the armhole that's what i do so if i have any excess i'll trim it out so now to get my yoke i'm going to remove it from this upper part so it depends on how you want your yoke to be so if i want the depth of the yoke to be say six and a half inches let's say, say six and a half inches i'm just going to take only six inches i'll take six inches away instead of six and a half but by the time i use half inch to join it it will become six and a half inch so i want the neck depth the sweetheart neck depth to be six and a half so i'll take away six inch i'm just going to join it to this point here this point here and then now when i want to cut i'm going to add half an inch around the neckline and around the shoulder and also the half inch to join this upper part to the down part so i'll just go ahead and cut it out So to cut out the front bodies because the front bodies is divided the front is not saying uh, um the ankara all through you're just going to so you will take your center front now this your taffeta don't fold it into two it's just once don't fold it into two now you're going to place your center front on top like so and make sure to give half an inch this half an inch is what you use to join this taffeta to the ankara and then go ahead and cut it out so i'll go ahead 
and use this one now to cut out the Ankara exactly the same side. We're going to join it in the middle. So, yeah, just going to place it on top like so. So, you have the front body. So, before you um, iron your breast pad on it, you're just going to stitch that half an inch first. So, for the back bodies, I just folded my fabric into two. And then I'll measure the half length, which is 15. I'm just going to mark 15 and a half for the back. Sometimes I don't even add that half inch. I'll just work with that exact measurement and it works for me. So I'm going to insert the shoulder measurement. First of all, you take your one inch for your zipper. And then from the zipper line, you're going to measure your um, shoulder, which is 7 inches. Now I'm going to jump down by 9 inches. And then what I'm going to do, I'll put my tape at this point and come up by 1 inch. And then I'm going to curve it. So the, the neck width I'm working with is 4 inches, you remember that? For the back, I'll use the neck depth of 2.5 and, and I'll just curve it. Also, I'll come down with half an inch here and connect it. And then on this um, ammo curve, I will set the chest measurement, which is um, 36 divided by 4 is 9, 9 inches. On the waist, sorry, move your zipper line, your 1 inch plus 9 inches, that's 10 inch. The same thing, the waist is um, um, 32 divided by 4, 8 inches plus your zipper line is 9 inches. So next thing, you're going to add your seam allowance. I am adding a seam allowance of 2 inches. So you can just say from that 9 inches, you just measure 11 inches. You can do it like so. Or you can come back later and just do 2 inches like so. Also, I'm just going to take half inch around the neck line. This for seaming. And then I'll cut it out. I'm going to take extra 1 inch, sorry. That would be for the for the dart. So I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to use this now to cut out the Ankara. You're just going to open up the zip line. And then you make sure you notch your one inch for the zipper line. So to cut out our sleeve, I'm just going to consider the um, widest part of the upper arm, which is around our arm O. This is my starting point to cut out the sleeve. I'm going to come down by 5 inches, which is the cap height. You can use 4 inches. On this cap height, I'm going to insert the arm hole measurement, which is 16. I'm going to insert half of 16, which is 8. And then I'm just going to connect it to this point. So now I'm going to come down by one inch or one and a half inch and I will insert insert the biceps which is 14 inches and half of 14 is 7 and the length of the sleeve, the sleeve I'm using is 10 inches and the round curve is 11 inches which is five and a half now I'm just going to add my normally it's supposed to be like this so now I'm going to add my allowance. I'm going to add my hemming allowance. I'll just add one and a half inch. So now for the sleeve, I'm just going to add one inch. And then I'll cut it out. So for the sleeve, I'm going to be pleating tool on top. So and I'm just going to cut four lines of two. So since it's 10 inches, I'm going to divide that um, 10 inches by four. So the first line will be two and a half. The first line will start on this part I will at attach to the bodies. After then, I'm going to rule two and a half. After that, I'm going to rule five inches. And then I'm going to rule seven and a half inch. 
So on these lines, I'm going to mark it for the second sleeve too. I'm going to place the two. All right, I'm sorry, I will gather the two and sew it on top of it. And then if I want to cut the two, I'm going to cut the two three and a half inches, not two and a half, because I want the first step to cover the second step just like that. Let it cover. So I'm going to cut three and a half as against two and a half that I ruled in between them. So let me cut the two. So after marking it, the four and a half, I'll just cut it. Now you're going to gather them on top before you um, close the sides. If you don't want to gather it, you can also pleat it. If you want your own very full, you have to cut more too. So, yes, I'm going to do it. Just like so. So to cut out the yolk, you are going to fold your two. I'm going to fold mine into four. That's because I love to double my two. Is I will use the two to turn it inside. Now you after folding into four, please. You are just going to place your yolk on it. Now you're going to mark the half inch around the neck. I don't need to mark. I know how I'm going to sew mine, and then on the bottom too. And then you're just going to cut it out. So now you have your yoke. You're just going to use. They don't need even turning it. Just open it up into two like so. So if you after cutting it like so, just sew the neck and flip it over. So for the breast part, I'm using this light, light breast pad. Fold my fabric into two, and then place the lining. I'm going to use lining to cut it because remember the front we divided it into two, so I don't want to divide the breast part too. After joining the front before I'll iron this breast pad on it. So now to cut the side, I'm going to fold it into two again. And then I'll just place breast pad on it and I'll cut it. I'm going to open it up. So now if I, I'm going to cut for the lining too, to cut for the lining. I'm just going to cut a smaller version for the lining. I won't let it get to the armhole and the underbust. So I'm going to be using this for the lining and I'll also cut out the middle for the lining. So I'm going to stop it here. So just go ahead. So I like to Iron it on this part that I've marked with chalk. I'm gonna go over and join the Ankara with the taffeta. I'm gonna join the two of them together first and iron the breast pad on it. So now I've sewed the middle together and I've ironed the breast pad on it. So I'll take my um the side of the breast pad and start from the bottom. I'm just gonna start from the bottom. And so half an inch right up to the top. I'll do it on both sides. Just start from the bottom, please. Don't start from the top. Start from the bottom. So half an inch. You follow this curve. This is the curve you are going to follow. Follow it. And sew it right up to this top. So now I'm done sewing it for this for the front and the lining. I've sewed it. So the next thing to do is just take I uh, what I do, I'll just take both sides like so. I'm going to notch that curve. So after notching that curve, I'm just going to open it up and iron it. I'm going to open it up and iron it. I'll do the same for the lining. So I've gone ahead to turn the neck of the two. You can see the pad now. This is the top. And this is the lining for the inside. Just open it up and iron it. So what I will do next is I'll get the middle of this um, yoke and attach it to the middle of these bodies. So I'm just going to sew. Please don't stretch the yoke. Don't stretch it. So now I'm going to sew it from here like so. 
when I get here, I'll sew. And after I finish sewing it, I'll sew the lining before I notch it. So I'm done sewing it. You can see the net is inside. Like I sewed the net first on it, and then I now sew the lining. So I'll just go ahead and notch it. So be careful when you're notching it, so you don't cut your um, stitch line. So now I'll go ahead and um, stitch the sides. I'm just going to stitch the side together. So now I just turn it over. My iron. So this is what it's looking like. You can see. So next thing I'm going to do, I'll just go over and stitch this one. Like just run it straight so they are not separated. So I've done the front part. I'm going to go ahead now. And turn the back i'm just going to turn it on the neckline and the zipper line i'll make sure that this and um, chalk part i marked is facing the fabric it's gonna face the fabric too i'm just going to stitch it on the neckline down to the space on this side so i'll finish running the back what i did i just used gather stitch to close the zipper line so from this zipper line what i normally do i'm just going to take the dart from the zipper line i'm going to measure um four and a half inches Bend it over like so. And then I'm going to come down by 8, um, eight inches or 9. I'm going to come down by 9 inches. And then I'll come inside by half an inch and then connect it to this line. So this will be my back that you can go up if you want, but I'll stop here. I'll do the same for the other side and I'll stitch it. So now I'm done putting the dart, I'm just going to go ahead and join the shoulders together. Or join the back and the front shoulders together. So I'm going to have to join the shoulders. Next thing, I've also pinned the bodies, just pinned them together on both sides. I make sure like I match the middle of the front to the middle of the back and then I pin them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure for the boss. Remember the boss is 9 inches. I'm just going to measure from the zipper line 9 inches. 9 inches like so. And then the waist is 8 inches. See, 9 inches to the 8 inches. And then I'll stitch it. I'll do the same for the other side. So now I finish running both sides. I'm just going to turn it out. Next thing I like to sew is the sleeve. Just so that this mark doesn't show outside. And then I'll just use biro to mark the lines. Remember, it's 2 and a half inch. Because if I use barrel to mark it, it's not going to show. We're going to use barrel to I get a ruler to draw a straight line. I'll get my ruler and draw the straight line. I'm just going to sew my tool. So you're going to make sure that the middle of this um, um, tool that you have cut matches the middle of your sleeve. So that one side will not be more full than the other side. So I've um, gathered it on top of the sleeve. You can see. So I'll just go ahead. I also just pressed it at the side. Then I'll go ahead and close it. And then attach it like you've already attached your sleeve after you close it you're going to take this middle now and blend with the this middle you turn the front and um, front side facing front side and then you sew it around that's how i attach my sleeve I, I separate mine so we're done with the up we're going to do the peplum to so do the peplum you have opened this the one side of the flare so now you take your lining and your fabric And then now you're going to take your cranial line, place it on top of your lining like so. Please don't stretch your cranial line when you're sewing. And then you're going to sew your half inch round. When you're done, you're just going to flip it over. You see, it's going to cover it. So now I'm done sewing the cranial line to it. And then I just stitch the edge with like a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to turn it and then give it a good press. So I've ironed the peplum down. I also just stop stitch this place. I'll just stop it. So now I'm going to open up this zip place. This gather stitch I run on the zipper line. And for the middle, just going to pin it to the middle of this, the down part. And 
and I'll take the end to zipper line also pin it now you can see this this is as I'm sewing I'm going to be gathering it it like I'm going to be giving it a little bit of twist I need to give it a twist so we just gather it and sew it to the end so I've attached the peplum you can see attached the peplum so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna insert the zipper after I insert the zipper all that will be left is just to overlock this line overlock it and overlock around the armhole and that will be all so I'll just go ahead and insert the zipper so I'm done with the blouse that's the zipper so I'm just going to put some details on the plain parts so I'm going to tag this rhinestone I'm going to tag this rhinestone on it so if you like my video please leave me a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel guys please i need your subscription so i can keep bringing up more content like this don't forget to share this video with your friends and family also help me like this video also if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section i am there to answer your questions i'll see you guys in my next one bye